Hey guys, what is going on? It's Justin from Vonix Entertainment, and welcome to this week's Zero Location video in Destiny 1. If you're looking for the Destiny 2 Zero Location video, there's a link down in the description below on where you can go to view it. But if you are not, first of all, I want to point out that Destiny 2 now has a live free trial for all of you who play Destiny 1. You can go ahead and download it. He might also be able to get the Destiny free trial if you do not already own Destiny 1 as well. So let's get into the video. Zer this week is over in the Reef area and he is selling for his Legacy Engram a primary weapon Engram. So if you're missing any primary weapons from year 1 or 2 that you would like to make year 3 version, you first purchase a Legacy Engram and it will bring it at a light level of year 1 or year 2 and then you have to go over to the wall in the tower and pick it up for some legendary marks for the year 3 version. Remember this is weighted more towards the weapons you do not already own. For the Titan class, Zero this week is selling the Eternal Warrior Helmet. And whenever you have the Eternal Warrior Helmet on, what you do is you gain the Unstoppable and the Fist of Havoc. You gain the Unstoppable perk for the Fist of Havoc. Which just means that you're going to be really hard to kill whenever you are Fist of havoc -ing. And that also frees up a little bit of extra room that you can use for something else, such as having a longer leap distance, or being able to aim where you're going to go, which is always nice to have. For the Hunter class, Zer this week is selling the Young Amakara Spine, which was actually my first ever exotic I earned in this game. Uh, what it does is it increases your trip mine grenade duration, so you have to be a golden gun hunter to use these. And what it does is it increases your trip mine grenade duration, as well as you gain a second trip mine grenade. So that way you can have two of them up on the same time. And the grenades last long enough to where you can recharge and have one always down on the field. So it's really nice for that. For the Warlock class, he is selling this stag helmet. Now the stag helmet, I believe I explained it last week, I think he had it. Uh, once per life, you have a fast supercharge when all your teammates are dead, so that means you're the last one alive. And you also have a chance to spawn with an overshield. So this is nice for Crucible, because you can spawn with an overshield and not be able to instantly get picked off by a sniper, which is nice to have, as well as also... You have a fast supercharge whenever all your teammates die, so in trials or elimination or anywhere where your teammates can die and you have to revive them, uh, this is great to have your super up a lot faster. Zer this week is selling for his weapon of the week, the Monte Carlo Auto Rifle. Now if you have listened to some of my other Zer videos, you know that the Monte Carlo is one of my favorite weapons in Destiny 1 to go into the crucible with. What it does is it's a full it's a full auto auto rifle. It has hip fire which is bonus actually when firing from the hip which is nice. High caliber rounds would stagger team your enemy which is nice to have for going into the crucible. You can stagger them, make them not be able to hit you as easily or send it which means that you're going to have increased range and accuracy and this is the one that I like a lot. Um, it does make it a little harder to handle, but you can't really tell, and decreases your carried ammo capacity, but in Crucible you're going to be dying enough to where you're, that's not really an issue, or killing enough people to where you can pick up more ammo. And Field Scout, which just increases your ammo capacity, and he is also it also has the Monte Carlo perk, and this is what really makes this gun. Doing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. This is why it's so amazing. So what this is great for is, I play a primary hunter, so I use the sealed Amakara Grasp, which lets me have two melee charges, which is great for smoke bombs in the Crucible. Having two smoke bombs is amazingly good. Especially if they're the snare smoke bomb, I use a snare and void grenade combo so I can snare them in an area and grenade them almost instantly and they're going to die from either the smoke or the grenade. I don't even have to worry about touching them. So it's really nice for all of that. 
and the Monte Carlo makes sure that I always have a smoke grenade up, which is absolutely amazing. Zer's two weapon bundles of the week this week is the Monte Carlo and the Royal Flush, and also the Trespasser and the Crucible Assassin. Now, in my opinion, the Crucible Assassin isn't as good as the Fallen Assassin one, but both look pretty nice. For the Monte Carlo, we can actually take a look at the Royal Flush right now. If we go over here to Royal Flush, this is what the Royal Flush Monte Carlo looks like. It looks really nice. I like it a lot. But remember, if you already have the exotic weapon and you just want the ornament, you can go ahead and go to the Silver Dust Terminal in the tower between Tess Eververse and the Postmaster, and you can buy these off the wall there. You don't have to worry about getting the exotic weapon with it. Also, if you're still looking to upgrade your Sparrows, it is 23 Strange Coins, and you can get the Plasma Drive or the Void Drive. Now, the Plasma Drive, I believe, is a little bit... It's either the Plasma Drive or the Void Drive, but one of these two is a little more rare to appear for Zer. Uh, so, if you want to, it's 23 Strange Coins. Remember, you have to get a Blue Sparrow from either Amanda Holiday, uh, the Crucible Quartermaster, or the Vanguard Quartermaster, and then have one of these, and you can upgrade it to a Legendary Sparrow. Gains a little bit more speed, a little bit more dur durability, and it has the trail of the color of whichever one you bought. So the Plasma Drive has a blue trail, and Void Drive has a purple trail. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. If you're looking for the Destiny 2 Zer location video, there's a link down in the description below, as well as also uh, there is going to be a link to our Twitch over there. I'm going to be trying to live stream a little bit over this weekend. I will try to get to it. I'm not exactly sure if I will be able to or not, but I definitely will be live streaming in about three weeks because I'll be done with the finals and I will have some free time to live stream. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.